Dale chavo al tecato, métele en el chipote, anda para el zapote, deja la changuería y montate en la guagua. Do you see how it sounds like chicote? What if in the past it was chicotl? Just maybe, or rather a word like maracuto, which we've studied in prior videos. And what if I tell you that a hypothetical ancestor to the word maracuto would be something like acujito. And then you say, what do you mean by acujuitl? But let me explain. You see, I told you the Puerto Rican and native dialects are filled with Americanisms, being our Taino component entirely Native American. Dive together with us Taino Boricuas that in order to sometimes learn from our culture, we become historians, linguists, warriors, so what type of observations and analysis can we reach upon reviewing the Americanisms within our and the other countries' Spanish language? We will quickly dive deeper together shortly. The Arawak, Andeans, Guarani, Quechua, Aztec, Mexica, Nahuatl, Zapoteco, etc. are not really the same peoples, but they do share two or three haplogroups, however. Can this explain why we have some words that are from and used in Mexico and parts of Central America? But historians all over Puerto Rico claim with evidence that in fact, ancient Boricuas have been traveling to and trading with peoples all over Central America and all over the Caribe. If we branched off at one point, won't we have similar words and forms? Well, I can read Northern Native American tribe names and places with only my Taino language native to Puerto Rico and even reach an organized idea that makes sense. But it's probably not exactly what they mean. And even when you think two words aren't related, well, they are. Just like Arawak and ancient Mexicans like Aztec, us Arawak be sitting down telling our tribal stories and the elder says the peoples here in this tiny island and the peoples in the center of turtle island are distant blood relatives so by tiny island he means the taino and by turtle island he means the mexicans and central america it all depends for instance i am pretty sure west coastal american natives express an influx of chinese polynesian pacific islander and other mongoloid Asiatic admixtures, whether of recent origin or even in the ancient past where it seems even the Chinese had ocean crossing, navigating, expertise, and huge boats. Master Taino navigated island through island with the cover of night and the brightest of stars like it never been recorded in modern day, and they used the stars as travel guides. After the conquest and wars and all that we know that happened, 529 years have passed. Boricuas and other American nations have acquired words that derive from Nahuatl or other Mexica peoples and vice versa. Most of the Nahuatl words that we own from recent influence are criollized, creolized, therefore are always there when it comes to Puerto Ricans when they speak their native language. In fact, our Nahuatl Criollo words actually enrich our native language abroad. We share words and forms, and like I said, some words that you might think that are not related to the other word. In fact, it is. Take Cachi and Guay, for instance. One is Caribe Eyeri and the other Taino. But wait, they don't look alike. However, Ka is is and I means spirit. Chi is a derivative of that. It refers to the spirit. And Gue translates to Gua from the and I spirit. And a hybrid actually of three words in such a small word. Wow. Words Gua, Abe, and I. 
to mean the limitless spirit. I am reading this in Taino. So you can agree if you are a fluent Taino speaker that these two words are practically in the same language or language family. Let's review some Mexican words that are also used in our Boricua ancient vocabulary. And the new one too. Words that have been criollized and let's review other Taino Hibaro aspects of the matter because eventually this information will assist the viewer into greater Native American knowledge. If you are Boricua and speak Taino Borique, then you may include some of these beautiful Nahuatl original words that I will classify in top five format. Taino Hibaro top five Boricua Mexican words that are criollo to Puerto Rico. Number one, Chucho. Don't we all got a cousin named Chucho? Mera Chucho! Just kidding. Chucho is onomatopeia for dog sound. However, in Puerto Rico, Chucho has a different meaning. It's something peeled or shaved to refer to broke. Ma pero con Chucho. And we also say chucherias, which means snacks. Notice the difference between Nahuatl's chucho versus Boricua chucho and chucherias. Number two, Ana Cahuita of Nahuatl's Ama Cahuitl. Just check it out. Amatl means paper and Cahuitl means tree. Maybe to understand some Taino even deeper, we could benefit from actually learning Nahuatl because otherwise, Ana can easily mean flower in Taino, thus even starting with Taino translation in itself might lead to an erroneous, ironic, unironic translation. It means paper tree. Number three, apapachar, which we use in Puerto Rican Spanish. Its form is apapachoa from patsoa, meaning to squeeze or to hug with one's soul. Aww. Number four. Chicle, deriving from Maya, Sikte. It means to chew with your mouth. My question is, with what things other than the mouth are these people chewing with? Chicle, as used in our Criollo talk, means chewing gum. Though some say that Puerto Ricans say chicle because of the chiclets brand. Correct me if I'm wrong. However, this one for sure is of recent acquisition but oh so sealed to be Boricua. And the last one for today, number five, changuito, a word of the Puerto Rican Spanish dialect spoken by all Puerto Ricans. It's of Basque Nahuatl origin, meaning a monkey. In Puerto Rico, we call these changuitos, little crows, changos, from what I've read in resemblance to the word for crow, Basco, Basco, Vasquez, and Velasquez which is the Spanish last name, meaning a person who's Basque. And suffix as, meaning son of. Weird coincidence. However, everybody knows that there are no coincidences. In conclusion, Taino and Mexicans and other original nations share more than just haplogroups. We knew of each other all the way because we were once all tight small units of probably not more than a group of a dozen families. Chihuahua exists in Mexico. With Taino's onomatopoeic patterns, we can conclude Chihuahua is a bark. And Chi and Ching in our Taino means little, the little bark. So regardless of other roaming definitions for Chihuahua, I can still then again, reach a logical interpretation versus our Taino guagua, which means a truck, a car, or a small van. But what if it was the ancient name of Taino dog before they mixed with and interbred with the dogs that the Spanish brought to Puerto Rico? However, these dogs are the Alco, the Upi, and the Aung, the pre-Columbine canine. Speakers such as myself may say, Ata, Atabei, Tonansi, Suimako, Pachamama, from other Earth references. 
being Pachamama, the less likely used in a serious Altaino talk or conversation. But its functional gold is Kaona, Lukuo, and Nosai. People may even have thrice as many words that I acknowledge that mean gold. Stay tuned for the next part of this video. Like, share, and subscribe. You see how it never was one word. It never was one people. I'll see you on the next video.